Today I'm installing underfloor heating. It's a retrofit on an existing slab. It's a wet underfloor heating. So I'm gonna be using 15 mil panels uh, with a 12 mil pipe that will slot into the groove. I think it's 12, it might be 10 actually. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, the pipe is 10 mil. Uh, 12 mil goes into 18 mil panels but we wanted to avoid having to build the floor up too much so the front door opens and the kitchen door would open. So the job right now is to clear the room out, remove the carpets and once the floor is cleared we'll prime it and we'll lay the board out. The floor is primed and dry and I'm ready to set out my panels. We also have those plastic end panels that allow us a return of the pipe work or running pipe work at the right angle to the panels. Now I need to figure out the best layout for those panels and we will be coming out with our pipe work in this corner here, so in the middle of the room. Not ideal, it's easier to come out on one end of the room but it wasn't an option here. I'm ready for panels installations. Uh, you could do two things, you could just lay them flat on the floor and fix them with uh, roll plug screws and washers. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them on flexible adhesive and obviously on the end panels which are plastic, you have to use screws. I'm not sure if tile adhesive would hold it very well. So we've got all the panels down for underfloor heating. We drilled through the wall to get to the manifold with pipe work. We're gonna slip those pipes through the wall and slip them all the way to the manifold. I will have to route my own channels in the middle of the room, because otherwise uh, I would have massive offcuts of pipe work. And the manifold is just behind that wall in the garage next to the boiler. So we're gonna go and have a look at it now. In here by the boiler, we installed two zone valves, one for central heating, one for uh, the underfloor heating and a bypass. The manifold has no actuators because it's all one area controlled by one thermostat so instead of actuators we're only using a single two port zone valve. All the pipe work is done, we've got pipe work done here in the kitchen and in the lounge. As you can see right there I had to do a few of the routes in the panel because the pipes are coming out from, well, weird central position. You can get those boards actually with returns pre-routed. I'll put a link to uh, one of those here on the screen now if you want to buy them with returns already in the panel. All the pipes are installed, so now I have to put them in conduits, sleeve them through the wall and connect them to the manifold. All the pipe work connected, it's time to pressure test it and for that I'm gonna use my pressure pump. So that's all the pipe work completed and it's ready for finishes. In our case it's going to be tiling, that's why we're using those dense panels because they take tiling much better, it's much safer than using those soft polystyrene panels. Now it's time to wire underfloor heating. We already have one nest on central heating that will do the top floor and I will install a second nest to do underfloor heating. And we've got two zone valves, two two-port valves. This one is for central heating, this one is for underfloor heating. Underfloor heating is only controlled by one thermostat, one nest, so I'm not putting any actuators on the manifold, just one two-port zone valve. And it's pretty basic. We, we will lose open therm on the boiler because it's a multi-zone and uh, nest doesn't do open therm on multi-zone. Now the upstairs will be wireless for the nest thermostat and downstairs I've already run a 0.5 mil two core power up the nest that's already on the wall from the heat link. Detailed wiring instructions are not part of this video as this is just a quick overview of overlay underfloor heating installation. However, if you would like to see how to wire this very setup in detail, I do have a separate video where I show you exactly how it's done. 
I will post a link to this video here. So, if you want to learn how to wire a separate radiator and underfloor heating zone with two Nest thermostats, click on that link on the top of the screen now. So now it's time to test it. I've connected all the nests and I can test it just by pressing the button so the pump should start. Yeah, the pump starts and this zone valve should open. It's opening and the boiler should fire. It's firing. So the controls are working fine. I can put my covers on. So that's all wiring completed. Underfloor heating is working correctly. So one more look at the manifold and let's have a look at the floor. So that's the floor, it's already tiled, the kitchen ready to go, to be installed and the client has so much trust in my ability to connect underfloor heating that they decided to leave radiators on, just in case it doesn't work. So yeah, there you go, a full installation of overlay underfloor heating with 10 mil pipe work on one manifold and one controls and controlled by one zone valve.